Hi, so this scratch video tutorial will look at how you can control your sprites or your characters when you're creating a scratch game. So I've got a couple of motion blocks here that we're going to have a look at. The first one that we're going to have a look at is the point towards the mouse pointer. And this is how you can control your sprite movements in a game where you might have to guide them through a maze or guide them through um, a different um, course and different levels of games. So I've got forever point towards the mouse pointer when the green flag is clicked. So let me just click onto that and test that script out. And here's my mouse. And so I'm moving my mouse around my mouse pointer and it's pointing towards my mouse pointer and basically uh, following my mouse pointer. And so that's one way of controlling my sprite. So I'll just stop that. How about if I want the sprite to move and follow at the same time? So we're going to have a look at what would happen if I clicked onto the move five steps. So if it was on its own and I'm clicking onto it, you can see that the, the cat is moving five steps. Now, if I snap this move five steps underneath my point towards a mouse pointer block and then uh, run this script to see, Look at that. So it's pointing towards my mouse pointer and moving five steps. So it's basically following my mouse pointer and actually moving around the screen rather than just moving around in circle in a stationary motion. So that's a couple of ways that you can use your motion blocks to control your sprite movements, especially when you're creating a game. Okay, have fun creating your scratch games.